Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now a few weeks ago a company called TurboAnt reached out and sent me the X7 Pro, a beginner type scooter for $599. Now that places the Pro in some serious competition competing against brands like Segway, Highboy, Gotrax, and eMove. Now $600 is one of the cheaper scooters in this price range of single motor scooters between $5 to $1000. And TurboAnt is offering an additional $100 off, bringing the price down to $500, making it the cheapest in this category. The X7 Pro comes with a 350 watt motor in the front wheel, powered by a 36 volt 10 amp hour battery that can be removed and charged on the go. It's rated up to a top speed of 20 miles per hour. Let's see if I can hit that. This is the speed test. I have 50% battery life. And I got my speed app open. There's three speed modes. Here is speed one. For speed one, I got six miles per hour. Speed two, nine. And speed three, 16, which was four less than the rating. Here's a comparison of all three speed modes. A top speed of 16 miles per hour places the Pro in the third slowest out of the nine brands I've tested in this price range. Now it's time to see how long it takes to reach 16 miles per hour in an acceleration test. The Pro is one of the slowest accelerations I've felt, which is comparable to the GoTrax. If you like a soft acceleration, this is a scooter for you. It took almost 22 seconds to reach 16 miles per hour. Here's the difference in acceleration between the three speed modes. Well, today I'm up at Brian Head, Utah. It's a ski resort just to the east of Cedar City, Utah. It's gotta be like 55 degrees today, cloudy and cool, showers around. I've got a small window, so I'm gonna do a range test see how far I can take this thing. Got it on speed mode three. My tracking app is open. Let's see what I can get. Now, one of the first things I noticed about this is just the lack of power. This trail's got some small hills. It's mostly flat, but I have to put my foot down and help it out. For a scooter over $500, I would expect a little bit more power. Well, the Pro comes with uh, two 10-inch air-filled tires. I always love air-filled tires. Makes the ride just so much more comfortable. The deck is pretty short and narrow, and it's maybe four inches wide. I would classify this as a beginner scooter. It's just small, it's easy to manage, lightweight. I'm 5'11", 185 pounds, and I kind of feel pretty big on this. I've lost my first battery bar. I've gone 2.02 miles with a ride time of 12 minutes and 45 seconds. I've got the throttle going down all the way. Kind of depends on if I'm going up a hill or down a hill, but I'm averaging about 12, 13 miles an hour. The stem is angled back a little bit, uh, and it's very stable. I've gone about 10, 15 miles and haven't had any wobble at all. I just lost my second battery bar. I've gone 3.02 miles with a, about a 20 minute ride time and still averaging about 13, 12, 13 miles an hour. The handlebars are pretty short and narrow, but it fits the frame of the scooter. Well guys, the screen is flashing and there's a temperature icon on here. I think the scooter has overheated, which is crazy because it's raining. I've got my coat on. It is pretty chilly out here. I'm up at 9,500 feet. So while I'm standing here in the rain, waiting for this thing to cool off, I'll tell you a little bit more about the scooter. There is a thumb throttle and it has the power button and the mold button on the throttle, which is kind of cool. Just hold the power button down for the screen to come on and it displays your speed, speed mode and battery life. And then just tap the mode button once to switch through the three speed modes and then double tap it to turn on the lights. There is a cruise feature too. Just hold down the throttle for about six to seven seconds until you hear the beep. And these are natives to Brinehead right here. Very dangerous. You don't want to get close to them. <laughs> I decided to end the range test because I was going to go up and down the same trail and didn't want the scooter to overheat again. Now the first two battery bars took me 3.11 miles. There were three remaining bars left, so if we say about a mile and a half per bar, you can expect a range of 7 to 8 miles. Now it's rated for 20 to 30 miles. You definitely need to set it to speed mode 1 and find a very flat stretch of road to get close to that. The Pro is rated up to a 15% hill. Hill in front of me is about maybe a block, block and a half long. Let's see how fast I can make it up. Going five on the app, four on the scooter, four on the app. Four on the app, four on the scooter, three on the app, back up to four. And then there's about a 30% grade right about here. And I don't think I'm gonna make it up. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm stopping, I'm stopping. <laughs> So this isn't the best for hills, pretty slow, 
uh, 9, 10% is gonna be the max. The pro comes with a rear disc brake. Here's the stopping power on all three speed modes with the highest mode taking 16 feet to stop. There's also the option to use the foot brake for an even faster stop. The X7 Pro comes with front and rear lights, weighs 33 pounds, can carry a rider up to 275, and has an IPX4 waterproof rating, which means it can withstand splashing from every angle. It takes six hours to recharge the battery and collapses down to a size of 42 by 16 by 18 inches. Overall, here's what you can expect from the Pro, a top speed of 16 miles per hour, a slow acceleration taking 22 seconds to reach that speed, a low range of around eight miles, poor hill climbing ability, and brakes were okay, they're not the quickest braking I've seen. If you want to check it out, I've got the link and code in the description that will save you $100. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.